Welcome to Business by World, where we discuss the success and the growth. Today we will discuss Prince Mohammed bin Salman, also known as MBS, is the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia and one of the richest men in the world. According to Forbes, he has a net worth of over $1.3 trillion, which makes him one of the wealthiest people on the planet. MBS is known for his lavish spending habits, and he's been spotted on numerous occasions splurging on everything from luxury cars to yachts and private planes. He's also been known to spend large amounts of money on real estate, particularly in London and New York. One of the most notable examples of MBS's extravagant spending was his purchase of a $450 million Leonardo da Vinci painting, Salvatore Mundi, in 2017. The painting was the most expensive ever sold at auction, and MBS was rumored to have bought it as a gift for the Louvre Abu Dhabi. However, the painting has yet to be displayed at the museum, and its whereabouts remain unknown. In addition to his expensive art collection, MBS has also invested heavily in tech companies. In 2016, he led a $3.5 billion investment in Uber, and he's also invested in Tesla and other Silicon Valley startups. But it's not just material possessions that MBS spends his money on. He's also been actively working to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy and modernize the country. In 2016, he launched Vision 2030, an ambitious plan to reduce Saudi Arabia's reliance on oil and attract more foreign investment. The plan includes investing in infrastructure, education, and healthcare, as well as developing the tourism sector. MBS has also invested in a number of social initiatives aimed at improving the lives of Saudi citizens. In 2017, he launched a $500 billion project to build a new city, Neom, which will be powered entirely by renewable energy and will feature cutting-edge technology and infrastructure. The project is expected to create hundreds of thousands of jobs and drive economic growth in the region. MBS has also been working to improve women's rights in Saudi Arabia, which have historically been quite limited. In 2018, he lifted the ban on women driving and has since implemented a number of other reforms aimed at increasing women's participation in the workforce and public life.